All right, guys, here's the new air filter going in. It is in DC Delco part. Why does a bee always show up as soon as I'm about to start working over here? <laughs> so there it is. This from the Chevy dealer, uh, $61. So yeah, keep that in mind. Um, probably should have gone aftermarket. <laughs> Be a lot cheaper, probably half the price, maybe less. Okay, so that bolt that I found in the last video, it did work. It's a 7 16th bolt head, so I'll go ahead and loosen that. And then loosen uh, the other three with my, uh, my Torx screwdriver there. And then we will swap this out. Yeah, parts are just, they're just crazy. They are absolutely crazy. Every I mean, everything has gone up in price, but I bet you pre-COVID, I could have got the same part for maybe $30 at most. So that is pretty bananas. Now these, you don't actually have to take all the way out. You just have to separate them from the bottom section. And yeah, everything really just, gonna slide all over the place okay fine I will set it on the ground and once you separate all the screws from the bottom half you can actually just pop the whole thing up you don't even have to disconnect the uh, the map sensor or anything like that there's actually another sensor here maybe that tells you maybe it, the vehicle will know when it's time to change the filter I don't, I don't know maybe it's on an interval so I'll just go ahead and uh, loosen all these up and the coolant, I may hold off on the coolant. I don't have to change it. But again, it's it's an age thing. I'm nowhere near the mileage for the coolant, and same for the the, the you know the uh, the brake fluid and the front and rear um, axle gear oil. But I'm I'm still thinking about it due to the age of this truck being 11 years old. But I mean everything is very very solid here, so. So far, I've done the oil change, which you saw in the last video, doing the air filter here. And then um, I'll do, I also have the parts for the uh, transmission drain and fill, as well as the transmission filter. And they gave me another part, some kind of um, part that you also replace when you do the filter. So I'll show you that in the next video. And this whole thing, is it ready to come out? Or does this guy need to, yeah, he needs to come out a little bit more. And the, um, the transfer case also takes automatic transmission fluid. So I have bought enough quarts to do the transmission drain and fill and the transfer case drain and fill. Okay, so old filter, air filter coming out. New one going in, same size. Good to go. Go ahead and throw that in there. And the air box, I didn't show you last time, but I think it's pretty, yeah, it's actually very clean in there. Not too bad at all. You know, one little piece of leaf or something. That's really it. <clears throat> so, old air filter definitely doing its job. So let's throw the new guy in. And we'll get it seated all the way down in there. And then the top box, this lip all the all the way around and you know, kind of a box shape just will sit over the uh the rubber lining on the air filter pretty easy all right now we can just start these screws by hand to get them started in the lower portion of the box and i'll tighten everything up and that'll do it for this video and i'll see you in the next video they the dealership did not have the um spark plugs and wires in stock so i will have to just get those another time and uh yeah we'll uh we'll get going on that you see everything is pretty much ac delco i think that chevy's parts brand they use i know ford uses like motorcraft so it must be pretty similar you know i'm, I'm used most used to working on ford since i worked at a ford dealer for a little while so but I think a lot of stuff applies over here at Chevy. So anyways, thanks for watching and we'll uh, continue doing our maintenance on this truck.